my name is Sofia Wilcape, and I'm from La Sinestación, Peru. So, hi everyone again. <laughs> and hi. First of all, I would like to congratulate you for the release of Sweet Tooth, which has been so successful all around the world. So, thank you. <laughs> thank you. All, <laughs> okay. So, first of all, what would you like the audience to remember the most about Sweet Tooth? I think um, for me, it's just to have a place to escape to that that uh, portrays uh, a hopeful future, even after something as horrific as a pandemic, there, there's still hope and, and light um, that comes out of all the darkness. Mm -hmm. um, same, I think that same feel for me, I think um, the idea of togetherness, you know, which I think uh, a lot of times they're going through tough patches, you know, people and ideas get pulled apart and, and um, our story shows both sides of that, but hopefully, um, hopefully it embraces the fact that um, compassion and, and togetherness is, is, uh, is okay. <clears throat> yeah, and I, you know, I just hope that they, <clears throat> it's like an escape for people and they can really get caught up in mm -hmm. Gus and Jeopard's adventures and, and kind of go along for the ride. And um, yeah, and it can just be, something that feels fun and hopeful but also kind of it's also kind of dark and scary a little bit too and it kind of finds that great balance of all the things I love in shows and things that I you know yeah yeah that's great so my second question is we have the people who were waiting for the sweet tooth adaptation because of the comic and on the other hand we have the public who were not familiar with this story maybe but they were waiting to see this new Netflix production so how did you manage to fulfill the expectations of both target audiences? Hmm. That's a good question. I think, you know, <clears throat> I've worked um, adapting uh, comic books before and it's really hard to try to just please uh, people who are familiar with the story. I think that as, as a storyteller, you have to, um, just assume that no one has seen it because otherwise you you leave out <laughs> that audience. And so we were just trying to take uh, the characters and the themes and the, the essence of, of Sweet Tooth, what Jeff had already created and, um, you know, build out those stories to create a wider audience. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's great. So for my last question, I would like to, for those who haven't watched the series yet, I'd like you to put in only three words, maybe, what they can expect. Three from words. <laughs> yeah, very, very short. Three words. Uh, antlers, boy. <laughs> antlers, plaid, <laughs> and purple flowers. Ooh, uh, that's four no. words. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> um... Will freaking Forte. <laughs> That's a magical, mm. heartwarming, and what? That was that was two heartwarming. Is that not <laughs> one the, word? That's one word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll take it if I, if I can stop now. <laughs> um, and fun. Those are my. Th Great. So, well, those were all my questions. Thank you so much, guys. I wish you the best. It was a pleasure talking to you. Thank, Thank you so kids. much. That little dude's got hope coming out of every pore. <laughs>